Hi guys, uh, my name is Samantha. This is an intermediate advanced writing class. So today we're going to be doing some creative writing. Um, I'll give you four different writing prompts and then you can write creatively based on um, the prompt of your choice. And then I'll get you to present your writing and then we will go back and I'll edit it for you. So. Um, you can join class right away if you have a reservation. So if you check out verbling.com slash get reservations, um, you can get reservations by liking the Facebook page, um, inviting your friends to Verbling. There's a video that you can watch there to get a reservation. Or you can become a premium member at verbling.com slash premium. It's $25 a month for a membership, and that gives you unlimited reservations to classes. So. Um, come on in as soon as the button is green, or if you're premium, you can come in when it's blue. Um, hi, Alda. Hi, good morning. How morning. are you? Good, how are you? Uh, pretty good, too. What time is it for you? Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, me I'm too. Where are you from? I'm in Spain right Spain, now. Okay. Where in Spain are you? Uh, I'm in a little town. Uh, Quite close to Madrid. Okay, cool. Maybe you know Madrid. Yep. Um, I actually, I'm really excited. I just got a job for September in uh, Cordoba. Yeah, really? So I'm moving to Spain, yeah. Oh, it's a great city, Cordoba. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It looks really nice. It's not too, too big, but it looks nice. It's quite nice. <laughs> cool. I'm excited. Um, Better than Madrid, I I recommend you. Better than Madrid. Yeah, why is that? I wasn't sure if it, um because I live in Paris right now, and oh. it's a bit much for me because um I've always had um I've always lived in a small right. town, and then moving here it's like crazy with this city city life. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, <laughs> in comparison in comparison with Paris, it's uh. It's not, I don't know, I'm finding it that it is, oh. it is a cozy place I love. Well, yeah, it looks very thing. nice. Um, no, I like Paris is great, of course it's Paris, but um, it's uh, too big of a city for me. I don't like the metro. and. So do, yeah. you, you would prefer Cordoba than, I than Madrid? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think a year is enough. I'm ready to. I'm ready to leave now because it's it's too, too crazy the lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> so and I, the weather is great during all the year throughout all the year. Is uh, you will have a great weather. It was nice funny. Morning. I was um, having a an interview with my boss, or he'll be my boss soon, and he was saying, uh, "Don't forget to pack like really warm clothes for the winter." Like, we have a really cold winter for, like, three months. I was like, oh, yeah, how cold does it get? He's like, well, sometimes we get snow. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm Canadian, right? <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he said uh, it gets down to, like, two degrees or something. I was like, oh, mm. man, that's not cold. <laughs> but it looks very nice, so. Um, hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Sorry, Salvatore, it's not... A beginner class, but um, you can still come in if you want to practice your writing. Hi, Mustafa. Hi, Salvatore. Hi, everyone. Um, so this is a writing, creative writing class. So today, I'll be getting you guys to write creatively based on a few writing prompts, um, and then I will go and actually edit your writing for you, and I'll get you to present it to everyone in class. Um, So, if you, everyone goes to Google Drive, yeah. there's a shared writing document there. I'll paste, oops, I'll paste the link in the chat. Um, you should be able to see it, but let me know if you have any trouble. There's the link. Okay. Okay. 
So maybe we'll just really quickly just introduce yourself. Everybody tell us your name and where you're from, and then we'll get to writing, okay? So I'm Samantha. I'm from Canada, and I live in Paris, and it's nice to see everyone here. It's 10 a.m. in Paris, right? So good morning to everybody. Um, hi, Yasin. Can you hear me? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Um, Alda, we've met. Hello again. <laughs> Hello, um, everybody. Hi, and Andrea? Andrea. No, Yasin, I can't hear you. Um, test, try testing your microphone settings. Um, or if you're having trouble, you can click help in the bottom right, left corner. <laughs> I should be able to um, help you out with your settings there. Hi, Igor. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Republic of Moldova. Great. And what time is it? It's uh, 11 o'clock, 06. So we're not too far apart, just about an hour. Hi, yes. Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, fine, thank you. Good. Where are you from? Italy, Milan. Oh, awesome. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go to Italy. Hopefully, I'll visit soon. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, uh, I'm from Italy, and uh, um, today in uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> Perfect. I'm fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, Frickin, hello. Are you ready to write? Yeah. Where, where are you from today? Where do you want me to be from? I don't know. Mm. You look tired. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask you later. <laughs> Hi, Mustafa. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Fine, how are you? Good, thanks. Where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Cool. I thought you were going to say horses land. That's what you've been saying. Oh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice to see you. And hi, Nemo. Is your microphone sorry, working? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's working. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Excellent. And okay, let's get started. So um, again, if we all go to Google Drive or you can click the link. Also, to everyone who's watching, hello. Um, if you guys want to participate from outside, you're more than welcome to participate. So um, you can just click on the document and you can do your writing there and then I'll edit it for you afterwards. Um, so I'm just going to give some more space between these writing prompts. So everyone try to click on the document. Um, let me know if you're having any trouble accessing it. I think it should be okay. We will make it a bit bigger. The time okay. machine. Um, so to everyone watching, you're welcome to participate by writing in the document. Yeah. So um, we have four writing prompts for you. Um, or there's the last option is free writing. So you can choose your topic and write whatever you want if you're like super creative. Okay. So okay. Um, the first topic is the time machine says, if you had a time machine, where would you go and what would you do? Who would you talk to? What would the world be like? So I just want you to imagine um, what would happen if you had a time machine and you could travel to any time, any place in the world. Um, and you can just write us a few paragraphs. The second one is um, kind of like Harry Potter's invisibility cl cloak. So <laughs> your friend made an invisibility potion and the two of you plan to drink it tomorrow. It lasts for 24 hours. What will you do? So what would you do if you had an invisibility potion? Yes, you can travel to fairy tale land, of course. <laughs> um, next one is called The Whole World is an Ecosystem. So it says, imagine you drank a glass of water today. Ten years later, if you go to Antarctica and drink a glass of water, it's likely that one of the atoms you drank will be in that same cup. Write about how the atom got there and what it did along the way. Um, another version of this is like a dollar, a dollar bill, or I wanted to say a loony, but I, don't, I think someone might make fun of me. Um, <laughs> a dollar coin. Uh, 
So you can imagine you paid for something with your dollar coin, and then 10 years later, you have the same dollar coin in your hand. So you can describe its journey. What did it do for 10 years? Um, and then the next one is the alien school. It says, I don't know why, but today I got up early, went to school um, to finish my homework in the library. When I got there, I had a problem with math, so I went to the teacher's room to find Mr. Barnaby. I opened the door and was surprised to see that all of my teachers were aliens. So, this is for alien lovers. If you guys are alien people, you can write about aliens. Okay. And then the last one is a free topic. So, if you're super creative and you just have the urge to write something, then you can write whatever you want. You can decide. Okay. okay. Um, so, guidelines please just type your name and then you can just start writing besides your name. Um, You'll probably get a chance to write two of them, uh, maybe three, depending on the time. So just write your name, and then you can write um, after that. Please use proper grammar, <laughs> um, because I will be editing it afterwards. Um, probably write like one or two paragraphs, just kind of like a long paragraph. I'll give you about ten minutes to do it, but you can ask questions as you're writing. If you're trying to think of a word and you can't, or you need help uh, conjugating a verb, you can talk while you're writing and just ask, okay? Does okay. everyone understand? I understand. All good? <laughs> All right. You can start writing whenever you're ready. I'm going to change the color of the prompt so they see uh, Sorry, can we, can, we, can we write in another document and then... Uh, finally, uh, pasting. Paste yeah, definitely. Sure. Okay, thank you. Whatever, whatever works for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Of course, there's a hedgehog in frickin'. Are you reading my... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if it's easier, if you're having trouble typing into the document, just write it on your computer and then paste it. That's fine. No, it's almost... Andrea, you're upside down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have some problem with my with the driver of my webcam. Oh, by the way, Spider-Man turned a normal woman. He bought, she bought a new camera. Oh, really? Yeah. I never get to see Abigail in class because of the time difference. Hi, Maria. Hi. <laughs> I couldn't stay away. I, I went you're so good class. at creative writing, too. I'm glad you're here because you chose an awesome lesson. Thank you. Um, so I've got four topics there, or you can do a free writing. So you just choose and write about whatever you want. <laughs> what is a po potion? Potion? Potion. 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 What a is potion that? is like what a witch makes or a scientist when you like oh. mix different things together and it's like bubbling in a tube. That's a, a potion. Okay. So an invisibility potion, it's like something you would drink and then you become invisible for 24 hours. Exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I only see two people writing in the document, so if you guys are having any trouble accessing it, let me know. Oh, I have, I have a problem because I'm trying to write something, but it uh, doesn't work. Uh, it's not working. Yeah. If it's if it's not working, um, you can write on your own computer in like Notepad or whatever, um, and then you can try to paste it in the document, or you can just paste it in the chat, and and I'll put it in the document for you. Um, okay, great. 
the second the second prompt is like more physics. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know much about atoms, but it's a uh, small particle. Okay. Yeah. So it's like um, a particle, a water particle that you drank ten years ago ends up back in your cup ten years later, and uh, you're supposed to think about what what well, journey it went um, on for ten years. Uh, or I was saying you could change it and do it like a dollar coin. Where you have you used a coin to pay for something, and then you find the same coin ten years later, and mm -hmm. you have, like what has it been doing for ten years? Okay. Uh, does a hedgehog have thorns on his body? No. No. What do they call? Um. I I want to say like spikes. Let me see. Spike. Not thorns though. It would be the same as a porcupine. Let me. Oh, quills. Quills. Mm. Quills. Hi. Hi, Samantha. Can you hear me? Yep. How are you? Hello. Good. How are you? Okay. Uh, must we write about one topic? Yeah. So um, if you go to Google Drive or if you click on that link I pasted, um, I've given you four different topics that you can write about. Or um, if you're feeling really creative, there's a free writing so you can write about whatever you want. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Can you give me a word that describes how amazing a poem is? A poem? Yeah. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Taking? <laughs> so cliche. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> it's like not the teaching class. I'm gonna use a thesaurus. One second. We'll find like a really, really cheesy word. Stupefying. <laughs> I know that's what it's about. That's a good word. No. Sensational. Uh -uh. Vivid. Invigorating. It's not a mega range. Oh. Okay. Let me take a look at the context. One sec. The poet was having trouble finding. Uh, like a topic, try, trying to find a topic. Inspiring. No, he's going to watch an inspirational video after that. Just use the like creative for now, and then um, we'll go back and try to edit it. Okay. Otherwise, you'll get stuck on that word. Here's the link if anyone's having to do. How can I describe a thing like someone crying and saying something like, it's like exclaiming, but it's different, like you go into the room and crying, someone's coming. Like screaming, like someone's coming, like that? Yeah. Um, you could say exclaiming. I used that word before. You could just say crying. Someone cries. So generic. Um, bellow. 
it's like a beast word or something. The beast. No, you, a person can bellow something out, but it's like you're yelling if you're bellowing. Um, uh, holler. I don't know that word. Holler. You need a new word that oh. you've never heard of. It's hard to come up with words. words. I've, I've, we've taught you so many words. I don't, I can't think of any new words. <laughs> um, holler, scream, roar. <laughs> I think that might be a little bit too animal-like. So, um, maybe give you guys about. Four, three, four more minutes to finish up what you're writing. And um, if you're having trouble with the document, again, you can paste it in the chat, and I'll I'll put it into the document for you. Well, I'm fine from ready. I'm I'm just uh, pondering, just thinking. Yeah. Okay. You can so have what are we going to do guys. for the rest of the time? Are you, um, we are going to edit for the rest of the. Well, I was thinking maybe you could do two um, pieces of writing, but if you'd rather... Oh, well, there's a lot of background. Uh, two writing. If okay. you'd rather spend more time on one, then that's fine with me. It's up to you guys. Would you rather spend more time developing one piece, or would you rather write, like, two short ones? I think I'll do that today, because I was a little bit late. And, yeah, that's um, fine. It's, it's up to you. That's why there's multiple prompts. So... You can but right now, I cannot... Um, I cannot put my cursor in the document, perhaps, uh, because I should go to the Google uh, hang on, chat, the other chat. Is it? Um, if you open the document in a different window, does it work? Let me see. I can make a copy of it, but then you cannot see what I'm writing. Yeah. If. If it's not, I don't know why it wouldn't be showing up. If you if you try it both on Google Drive and in another window, it's not working either way. Um, well, I cannot write in this specific document because it's okay. It's, it's not. Locked. It's okay if you want to. You can just write in a different document and then. Just could you um, could you post it in the in the chat? Oh, yeah, sure. The link. Let me see if I can. Um, but if it's not working, you can just paste your um, your writing in the blue chat or in okay, whatever. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And I can paste it for you. Samantha, you finished. Finished, okay. Who is that, Igor? All right, let's take a look. I'm going to share it. Sorry, yes, uh, I, I finished. Uh, I have some problems with Google Hangouts. Mute button doesn't Google work. Drive have been, has encountered an error. Oh, okay, reload. That worries me, so I'm just going to copy this really quickly so you guys don't lose your writing. Okay. Um, okay, Igor, can you can you see it? Yes. All right. Would you like to read it out loud for us, and then we'll I'll go back and edit it. And if you guys are writing, you can keep writing. If I had a time machine, I would probably use it to you see the future. First, uh, I would go twenty years in the future to see what would be my life, what I will be, where I would work. Also, I would look at the life of my family, relatives, friends. I will see that something, if something wrong happens in future with people, I would change so all of the people to be happy. And I would uh, travel in the past to see interesting moments from people history. After that, I would travel with travel machine. In travel future. machine in future, uh, in future 100 years later to see what will be world like, what new technologies will be there, what kind of life will be on the planet. I would talk with prominent personalities from past and future about 
all kind of things. I would take photos of them to have fun. Awesome. This looks <laughs> good. Um, you need to decide, though, if you want to use the conditional or not, because you, you're switching between would and will a lot. I will, I would, I would, I will. So it's probably better to use the conditional. If I had a time machine, I would probably use it to see the future. That's perfect. Um, first, I would go 20 years in the... F firstly or first? Um, either way. You can say firstly or first. It's up to you. Okay. First, I would go 20 years into the future to see what... Okay, to see what would be my life. We can reword this a little bit to see what my life would be would oops would be like. Let's see what my life would be like. Okay. What I so I'm gonna change your tense to conditional, okay? What okay. I would be. Or you could say what I what I would become, like meaning you know, where you would work in your job? Yes. And where I would work. So you've got to have that and because it's in a list and where I would work. Also, comma, I would look at the life of my... So since you have three people listed here, your family, relatives, friends, you would say look at the lives. Okay of my family, relatives, and friends. If I will see that something wrong happens in the future with people, I would change so all the people would be happy. Okay, so um, instead of we'll see, you could say if I saw that something bad was, ha was happening. So we need to change the tense a little bit here. If Sorry, I saw... But what? Why not if I would see that, would see that something happening, I would... Uh... So sometimes when... Try to unshare my screen. When we're using the conditional, you can actually use the past tense to say, if I saw, then I would do this. Um, mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. Um... The second conditional. So the difference is trying to get back to the verbling chat. If you were to say, if I if I see that something bad is happening, I will change things. You could say that, or you can say, if I saw that something bad was happening, I would change things. Okay. So if we were sticking with the future tense and using will,